Hello there, I am Gep and welcome back to the Banana Viking server and Gep and Craft, where we play Minecraft with people who we barely ever see. But hopefully we'll get to do something with them later in the episode because we're planning to do a nether run because we, we should have the nether ready and we haven't been there yet. But as you can see, I've been doing some busy work and we've got all the diamonds. We've got a lot of the enchanting. We got our two perfect pickaxes. Just harder to say than I anticipated. Perfect pickaxe. Perfect pickaxe. Yeah. We've got all that stuff ready. We've been killing several pillager things that have come nearby. Other than that, I've tried not to do very much building because I want people to be able to see when we're doing or planning building. Oh, this acacia tree that I made. Like, there was some acacia, what I think uh, Van Velding went out and explored a bit and brought down back some acacia saplings that we have grown and now we will have more acacia wood for the little community area here. But it's dark, so we're going to sleep so that we can see what we're doing better. And order of business number one is we are going to tear down this eyesore and we're going to build something better in its place, which I've been workshopping. If you follow, if you're on my Discord, if you go onto the De Gepwin Discord, which you should be able to find, uh, you can... Oh, there we go. You can find when I put up, like, you know, work-in-progress builds and things I've been working on in creative mode and stuff like that, and give feedback. So if you're interested in the series and things like that, you should go check that out. So, first things first, we need to tear this down, and thankfully I just got myself my Silk Touch pickaxe. So, ah, no, come back! Now, there's a couple things that I was playing with here. One, I don't like having these banners everywhere. I know everyone's liking, like, putting the banners up, because what else are you going to do with them when you kill a thing and get an omen banner, but I don't know. They're fine, but they're kind of ugly, and I don't love them. So I'm just going to stick them in a chest, and if anyone else wants to do something with them, they can. There we go. Also, look at all. Look at this. Got a stack and a over a stack and a half of Nautilus shells. Because Nautilus shells. Also, our dark wood never grew, did it? Should have had a dark, yeah, this here. Should have had that growing. Is it too close to this? Let's see. Maybe we can get rid of a uh, oak tree. All right. The idea here is that this thing was very, very ugly. Massively so. But I've already got a bunch of junk in the inside, and this is all full, and I don't want to have to... Oh, no! Dang it! Ah, oh, I hate that. So, I think what I'm going to do... I cannot believe... That that's something that happens with logs now. That's a bad, bad plan. I'm going to try to keep things about the same, and not exactly the same, obviously, because we want to change stuff up. One thing is I didn't like the color palette that I had. I want a lighter door, and I'm going to kind of use spruce for a lot of the other parts. And I don't think I have... I got a bunch of spruce logs, but I don't think I have a lot of spruce wood right now. So we're going to make ourselves... Stop that. I'm going to make ourselves a decent amount of spruce wood, and we're going to turn that into a bunch of spruce staircases because we need depth. This build was just way too flat and weird looking. So we need some depth. And I also want to try something really quick where it also didn't really have what I would call like a ground floor. So I want to just quickly on the front do a quick experiment with this here and see how this looks to see if giving it a kind of more ground floor section looks better. This is kind of the thing that I was playing with before when I made this on the other thing. When I made this in, cre in my creative testing world, this is kind of the build that I went for. I didn't have the I didn't have the slabs there. I didn't have the, not slabs, I didn't have the, the stone at the bottom. Hmm. It is giving it some weight, but I don't know if I love it. Because, let's see, the alternative is we replace these with these stairs. And... I don't love that particularly either. 
Not especially, no. Um, I think part of the problem might be that this build is just a tiny bit too short. Just overall. Okay, so far, so good. Now I'm going to do the walls in the same style as this with the spruce stairs. And we'll see how that looks. That seems better. Yeah, that's a bit better, and I need to do something with the uh, sides there that I'm going to do in a second. But overall, that's looking a lot better. We're going to do that on the same on all three sides. Uh, maybe the back window. No, the back window can have a single, and then the other two windows, we're going to do the same. That looks awkward in a weird way. That looks weirdly awkward to just have it sitting there. What if I like brought it out so that it had a dang it, I keep falling over here. What if I brought it out so that it had that little bit on the top? That actually works better. So we're going to do that with the stone roof. We're going to give it a little lining on the edge, and then we're going to do a little bit more to make it look like it's kind of overhanging the edges in a more interesting way. Because you need that for weather. Because, you know, that's supposed to be a thing. Even in the Minecraft world, we get weather, so you want your door to be dry, right? Now just the finishing touch up top, and I need to make a couple of more oak things because oak is necessary here. Adds just that extra little bit of depth that's nicer. Yeah, let's go through and put a few more of the little details on this thing, and then this house will go from being the ugliest thing in here to being pretty passable. Now that is a house that I am proud to call a temporary tiny shack that I'm going to use until I get my base ready. Also, fences are the best. Ah! No, don't do that. Fences can be very helpful when you have little stretches of weird wall that you don't know what to do with. That's enough done fiddling. House is done. It looks a lot better than it did. It has some depth, it has some decoration, it has a little bit of detail. The roof looks way, way, way better. Like, like this thing is something that I am not completely ashamed of, which is saying something for super tiny houses. Tiny builds are harder. Tiny builds are very hard, especially tiny builds that have to be this symmetrical because of the mushroom thing. Oh no, we took out a piece of mushroom. Oh. Um, darn. Oh, there's a little mushroom lookout over there. Didn't notice that. There we go. Silk touch. Steal some mushroom. Head on back. No one will ever know. It's our little secret. That goes right there. And all fixed. There we go. Now my mushroom house is complete. A little bit after this, we were all going to get together to open up the first nether portal on the server. And we were hanging out, and Van Velding wanted to show us a new village, and none of us thought to record except for him, which is why all the footage is going to be from his perspective. But I think we had a little misadventure that you'd enjoy seeing, and I'm going to let him introduce it. Oh, oh, f me, I had a f***ing, uh, I had, I had the ill omen from killing all those pillars. There we were, in the middle of our no. first server raid battle. And things very Shot quickly got out of hand. Into my line of swing, okay? There were casualties from somewhere. Oh, oh. There were small victories, but the raids kept coming. I'm just gonna keep shooting arrows at this one place on the ground, and if he just happens to walk through it, that's not my best chance of shooting at this guy. Novel strategies. Oh my God, it friggin' worked. <laughs> Frustrations. Okay. Uh, 
That's it. I'm filing a complaint. I'm going to open my email client right now. Come on, buddy. Run through the berry patches. Fun Come times on. to buy all. You like berries. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can hit me. Look. Oh, out. Okay. I kind of deserve that. <laughs> and an evoke. More losses. That guy needs to die. And I'm out of arrows. And I'm out of health. <laughs> oh, I hate those guys. I hate them so much. But finally, finally. Okay. All right. We did it. That was a, an unconscionable number of ways. It was all yes. over. Wow. We got three totems of undying. Yeah. That, 18 <laughs> yeah, emeralds. They kept giving us evokers. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hello there. We're doing a thing. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it from the back so you can get a better view. Blom. Another. Ah, I'm gonna put this. Oh no, keep the flint and steel. I forgot. Yes. Yeah. Always keep the flint and steel. I'm going in. Okay. Now we find out we spawn on a teeny tiny island and we all push each other off into lava. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Okay. Uh, not on a island. Let's That's see. good. We're in half a cave. And immediate gas sound effect. Nice. This is not a bad location, all things considered. I mean, I assume this is a... no, it's actually not a bad thing. Yeah. Not the right. huh. I'm gonna mine out the nether now, don't mind me. <laughs> the ceiling's not exactly <laughs> high enough is, uh... to uh ceiling's not really high enough to matter, so I don't think yeah. gas can easily spawn in here. I can hear one, but we need to wait over somewhere. And this is going to be the one that's for Van's nether base, so. So uh, mine everything around it. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, successfully are... stolen all your quartz. Um, sorry about that, and um, bye. <laughs> that's cool. I, I'm just there super jazzed to have a uh, place. Got uh, lots of soul sands too. Yeah, there are some materials that I just need for upcoming projects. <laughs> it is just dark. There are a lot of zombie pigmen here, so if someone accidentally hits one, I'm going to hate you forever. Are they going to aggro <laughs> all of us or just the person who hits them? They aggro all to everyone. Us. They just immediately turn into hostile mobs. Oh, nice. Which is great on a serve when you don't know if someone does it. It's only in a certain radius, so like. If you build a specific farm or something, it doesn't affect every single part of the nether. Yeah. Oh, if it was all the nether, it was fitted. So I may have found a fortress. Yeah. Wow. That's quick. Yeah. That's very close to where we yeah. came in. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed my uh, torches. Uh, no. I don't think you're the only one marking paths with torches, but. This is some torches way over there. <laughs> Which direction did you go? Uh, I'm going back now, so I'll just sort of. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I think everyone that, else went to the other side of the lava. Okay, yeah, I, I'm I'm on the same lava uh, side of the lava as the portal, so. Okay, I see. I see which torches you mean. Yep. So. I hope they're the same ones. I'm just getting to some torches. Do do do. We need to get at least a couple of blaze rods so we can make potions. There is a there's a brewing stand in that village. Oh, okay then. I got it from the other village. Uh, wait, just, this is spawned now. This isn't where I thought. Wait, I thought you went through that hole. I went up. I think maybe he did. I think I went the wrong way. Oh wait, there we it did 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 jump jump hoppy hop 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 up hop, and over. Hop, 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 just hop. There you are. Quality YouTube content. <laughs> you jump to the hay. Hey, these are okay. my pig men friends. Don't yes. kill them. They're very, very Can nice. Oh uh, wow! The torch down fully ended. Randomly. Okay, you're right. There is a, there is a blaze. Ow! I am glad that I put hey, fire it, protection on this first? armor. Ezix, there's a blaze over there that's going to kill you. I know. 
<laughs> Thankfully, Van jam jumped right in the way. <laughs> so you did find another. You found a nether fort thing right here. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're basically, right below us. <laughs> and it's tiny. And oh, we it could, extends off that way. We could clear off this area pretty easy and make a spawner. I always wanted to make a. Uh, I know they're very difficult to do, but I always wanted to make a freaking freaking dark skeleton spawner. Yep, see it extends quite a ways. Okay, I don't want to jump down there because then I will be stupid and die. I didn't die, and I'm really stupid. Oh, you found a stairs? Wait. I've I've started making one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. But this doesn't really go where we need it to go. This is all that we found. You said yeah, I'm being okay. Yeah, I'm at being Gepwin. All, right. all right. Let's uh, I'm going to mark the other side of this with a little cobble arch so it's easy to find. Okay. So dark. Um, hey, on... two blazes. It is really bright over here. I'll just be honest with you, it's super bright. <laughs> okay. Oh, you are at a blaze spawner. Yeah. Where, where's my where's my brightness control? Yeah, well. okay. Dying pretty well. Do we have yep, um max. Do we have dirt? <laughs> um, I have uh, cobble. Huh. This probably so, isn't a good I... that. Ouch, I'm burning. Wait, how are you sleeping? I died. died. Oh, I missed that bit. <laughs> yeah, and it turns out that um, I didn't reset my spawn to my base. Oh, you're still so, in the village. Oh, I'm still in the village. So you don't have uh, that omen thing. I do not. I do not. I would like to think that it goes away if you die, but uh, oh crap! I thought about it. Careful. Yeah. Somebody go. I grabbed ha most of his stuff, but I didn't have enough for all of it. Yeah, I got a diamond pickaxe in there. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. I have that. I got the rest of it. I got the rest of it. All right. Well, my yeah. inventory is full. We're close enough. I'm going to run back to the nether, to the portal, and uh, drop this in a chest for you. Appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you there. I really didn't expect that we would find a. Nether fort immediately uh, next to where we spawned in in here. <laughs> a lot of freaking yeah. blazes. Now there is the question of uh, getting ah. some sort of uh, nether wart as well. Yes. Yeah. The Can nether wart fort. Away, huh? We should have to find the center of the fortress, right? Well, one of those um, thingies. What is the? Oh no! Ah. There. Go away! The side of it. Hi, dude. Bad slime. Bad. Bad. There's that. Not sure if I'm, all this is necessary. Everybody's here, but let's see. I'm very, very carefully exploring a That's little mine. bit farther in. Found right, nether wart. Nether wart and golden horse armor. Nice. Now that we have nether wart, we have no reason to ever be here again. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> Freaking blazes everywhere. Oh no, 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 no! Why? Why? I held Wait. shift and now I'm in the lava and I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna be Get smart. me out of here. No offense. <laughs> ah! Survive? Ah! ah. I, uh, sounds like it. I haven't seen a death notification Ooh. yet. I'm impressed. Some good armor. Oh no, the Blaze is trying to shoot me. <laughs> Stop it. Stop <laughs> it, Blaze. <laughs> so you made it, you survived the lava, but the Blaze in. Oh, I've had uh, ah. Oh. Okay. Still, uh, now we. Outside the area, so now we pillar. We now we pillar. The Blaze down there is loose. Oh. Near death experience with Gepwin, man. And Ow, you, Blaze, there you ouch. are. You're on fire. Okay. Whew. 
All right. So oh. there's another. We're here. <laughs> oh, come on. That one missed. Ow. I that hated missed. that. I hated every second of that. <laughs> and that is why this morning I made fire protection for boots. <laughs> nice. So. All right. I'm going to have to head back in here later and get some blaze rods, but I've got a bunch of junk on me. <laughs> but I. I would like to make it clear that there are uh, there is a second blaze spawner in here. Okay, good. So, I, I, I found a uh, convenient way to get in and out of here uh, from the yeah. portal. So, hello, this is the center. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, that's good. Why'd you find a convenient way? Well, I made one really, but <laughs> it's not <laughs> going up and over. Uh, it's basically off this way. Put a torch by the the entry. Oh, it is, are we? Mm. Vance, you have my stuff or is it still down there? I still have it. I got it. Ah, okay. I'll follow you then. I, I can put it in the, in the chest over here. Yeah, I put it in the chest. I grab it out of the chest. is faster than trying to get off the ground. Yeah. Just a short little tunnel past some pigmen, ah. and the portal's right here. So. Ah, okay. Cool. Good reckoning. Okay. So we should build uh, that into a proper tunnel at some point. Yeah. So you just want to do it in the overworld, Peter? Oh, no. Most of my stuff's easy to figure out. It's all level one stuff from when we were originally on this server. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I usually. Um, uh, that's what I use to draw special with the exception of the, you know, odd. Uh, well, I'm a big fan uh, of running with like stone tools when mining because it's really easy to replace the vats. Yeah. That's, hey. that's my philosophy as well. So. Hey, I'm going to pause my recording, which means it's going to mess up my sound, but. Ah! Raids! Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Someone has to the line. Maybe try to sleep. The phantoms are out. There are, um, there are beds inside this little house over here. Uh, you haven't been there before. Oh, sorry. There's a bed across the hall. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Should I stop? Whew. Well, I killed them all right as daytime hit. Hooray! <laughs> Get up with the hero. <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm going to admit I almost had a heart attack in the nether a couple of times there, but that was great fun, and we got a lot of the resources we need for a few projects next time. But... I spent the last day or so gathering resources for a big build that I wanted to do right here behind me, which is why I terraformed this area a little bit so we'd have room for it. We need a bridge. We need a better bridge than this one we've got here. Because Van made this little dirt thing so that we wouldn't have to swim every time we cross over from this side to this island over here, which is nice. And Izix is building a little base over here, and we've got a pasture and the new nether portal to the eh, mushroom biome is up on that hill because we had a misspawned mushroom that was missing a side and we decided hey let's take that as some inspiration and we made kind of a mutant mushroom that has grown itself around the nether portal up there you'll be seeing that that's cool i like it so we need an easy way to get to and from this area over here now i was thinking for the longest time i was just going to build a kind of decrepified stone bridge and make it look like this area was, you know, old and now mushroomy. But I had this thought, and the thought went this way. This is a cool build. I really, really like how my fish here turned out, even though I need the interior to change a tiny bit. I still don't love the black glass, but, you know, we need to be sealed in for them pesky, pesky phantoms. Ugh. But since this turned out well, and we're in a mushroom biome, and mushrooms are kind of nature's recycling machine and grow up around dead and decaying things. You know, I figured, hey, maybe the reason this is all mushroomy is because a bunch of giant things were dead here. Like, this is like the mythical elephant graveyard, but not just elephants, like ancient giant creatures that their skeletons are all over. Maybe you have like a big skeleton there with a big, big old mushroom in the middle of the thing. It's kind of a center point. And I talked it over with the others, and they were like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. Sure. Yeah, there was some genuine excitement. 
genuine excitement for everyone. Isaacs loved it. Everyone else was like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to build here. So yeah. So we're going to build a theme appropriate bridge for that. I'm thinking I've, I've done some planning, but I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I got all the stuff that I need since we're building things out of wood. I like how the stripped birch looks like it's it looks really cool as bleached bones looks really cool as bleached bones looks way better than blown box blown bone blocks bone blocks say that two thousand times and then you'll still be saying it by the time the next video comes out which is uh gonna be a bit because i spend a lot of time on these to make them good now because i want them to be good anyway i'm gonna jump into our third person musical time-lapse thing and you'll get to see this cool bridge thing that I'm building right here. I think it's going to be neat. But mostly it's just going to be made of uh, stripped birch and stripped oak logs and some stairs. So we've got everything we should need right here. I think it's going to be cool. I built it in a test and I think it's pretty neat.
that is definitely taking more materials than I thought it would. Um, I had several stacks of birch and I had to go back for more. Like, I've got a tree farm over there that's been working this whole time and I've had to go back three times. But overall, looking good. Uh, looking at it from the front, I wish there was a little bit more contrast between the skull and the rest of the body. Uh, but I'll see if I can work that out a little bit. I'm not quite sure what to do about that because it all does need to be kind of bleached bone. But it looks cool. It's like a cobra. It's rearing up. And that's why the ribs on the front are a slightly different shape because if you look at a cobra skeleton, the ribs near the neck are actually very long and thinner and pointy and don't kind of curve in and down the way these ones would. So that's what I was kind of going off of is making the like rearing cobra, which I think is neat. And then have this little bridge bit in here that I'm still working out what to do with this underside a little bit. Uh, I want it to look a little bit like a mix of construction and bone. So we'll see what to do with that because I don't have enough of these. That doesn't look bad overall, but I want it to look like they put in handrails. Basically the skeleton was here and somebody came in and made it functional as a bridge, which is why I've got this contrasting handrail going along the side with the dark oak and the lanterns every now and again for some hanging lights which I think are really cool and add to this kind of spook factor of walking across a giant skeleton. Oh, my uh, trader friend has gone away. But this is going to have to be a longer term project because I mean look at that. There's still this much left to go. And then I still need to figure out how to make the tail happen. <laughs> Which basically I think the ribs are gonna like start getting smaller. If you look at a snake uh, The ribs actually start getting smaller as it goes down and then you hit the little tail section So this is gonna go down around here and then turn into a little tail that kind of curls a tiny bit in the ground itself So that it doesn't impede your walking. I considered trying to make the body of the snake uh, a little more serpentine but one of uh, the rib sections have to be so big that's basically impossible and two it would make it a less of a functional bridge so overall I'm liking where this is going but I have to spend so much more time getting the birch farm and placing these and honestly all of these are going to be exactly the same so I think overall this is pretty good eh, dang it I can't Sometimes I can jump really far when I do this, and I'm not sure what the difference is. Whee! That didn't work. This looks cool at night. Look at the lanterns lighting it up. I wanted to see a night view. Yeah, that looks neat. I like this. I like this. Building all out of one block is hard, but I like the, the, like the way that this pattern changes because it enough variation. And with these rib sections it gives it some variation so I think I like this actually I was doing a try of a thing before where I was leaving these blank actually I like that better we're going to change up the design of this a little bit which means I need to have a kinda yeah we'll use dirt so instead of that I have a junk block and then this in the middle so that it does go down on the top and bottom like that that's looking a lot better. That'll help. Yeah, that's helping out the general shape. Excellent! We did it. We did it. We remembered the thing that I built before. And then we'll do the same thing on the front. And that'll help that neck profile. Good! Good, 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 good. I think I want to get rid of these on the bottom, too. Yeah. Okay, so we need less oak, which is the one that we already need less of. Hooray! <laughs> oh well. Oh well, it's still looking better, I like it. Okay, we're going to keep looking at that, I need to stop saying okay. Stop it. That, I hope that you have enjoyed this big project and the nether thing. I've got a couple of stuff planned for the next episode with the skeleton spawner and uh, things like that. Also, Van's been doing a lot of work in the little village that we had that raid in uh, to try to repopulate it. You should check out Van's channel, uh, Van Velding, because he's been posting every day with stuff on the server. I've been doing longer term projects and so lots of 
lots and lots of work that's taking me like a week to get a video out each time but hopefully i'll speed up my schedule a little bit as i get more used to minecraft again and i need to start working on my other videos oh my god i have so much to do so much to do but i built a snake and it's a bridge and it's a snake bridge and i like it and it's cool the face looks a tiny bit derpy but what doesn't in minecraft what doesn't well i hope that you enjoyed if you did like subscribe bell ding a ling a ding dong ding dong and I will see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.